Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Pac Junior. What I'm gonna give you guys today, today, today is a weekend league recap. I want to do these for the channel. Starting this new series, it's just showing you the crazy plays that happened during my weekend league journey. I'm sure all of you guys have it. So here it is. I'm up 14-3 with a chance to put the game away. It's first and ten. Um, he runs the ball. I obviously shoot the gap. So now it's second and 13. And so here we go. I do a little cross manning because he was doing lots of crossing routes. I know I'm in charge of Kittle. I don't have anybody manned up on Kittle and I got a deep third. I notice he's running four verts and we have a deep third with Calvin Johnson, but Kittle comes down with the catch guys. <laughs> I was so heated. I don't know if you ask me, I think I got six foot five Calvin Johnson. I know he's not in great position, but I feel like the way Kittle was running the route towards Calvin should have let me play that. Uh, that's me personally. So that is play number one in this game. I did end up coming out with the win, but this play drove me crazy. He's gotta run the ball, right? Well, maybe, who knows, but here we go. Let's go and see what happens here. He comes out, runs a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and bam. Aggressive catches me yet again. These tight ends have been killing me left and right. Let's take a look at that one more time. If you do not, if you ask me, we have Calvin Johnson on Henry. Calvin. He <laughs> doesn't make, I don't think height matters in this game. I really don't. This drove me crazy, all right? It's 7-7, seven, seven. it's a closed game, I sky kick it, I get the perfect animation, guys, it's two seconds left. You guys tell me, is this stupid of me? Or is this the right move? Okay, because it's two seconds left, I'm gonna go prevent. And I know he's got a run package, but I mean, like, really? Take a look at this. He breaks the tackle and of course it's me versus him. And of course, okay, you can blame me here because I, <laughs> I thought he was gonna spin, right? Like you're gonna strafe there because you think he's gonna spin you out. And he scores a freaking touchdown with two seconds left on the board. And I just, I don't know, man. If you ask me, I don't think, I just don't think this should happen. And maybe I should have subbed out Lawrence Taylor, but you know, he's got 90 some speed, so I figure I can use him. But anyways, guys, that play just almost made me break my controller. Cause I grabbed it and I almost twisted it and broke it. Here we go, a little gum bunch. I know exactly what he's doing. He's running that play. I got caught in my D tackle, of course, which was annoying. It's all gravy though. He breaks the tackle. That's fine, whatever. Shooks, jooks. And then here we go and yeah. I mean, I mean, come on. Everybody says, oh, they nerfed Michael Vick. They nerfed Champ Bailey. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Look at this. That's Lawrence Taylor. And he jukes three people while juking doesn't fumble. Got to chew off the clock and I can win this. I just need the first down. Now, let's be honest, guys. I will show you guys when I get screwed over, but I'll also show you guys when they get screwed over, all right? So don't think I'm gonna be biased here, all right? So I, I will show you situations where I might have got a little lucky. So here we go. So you can see he's manned up um, RB and I get <laughs> one-handed aggressive Cooper catch. And he quit after that, he was frustrated. And I could understand why. I think he had a hard flat um and bam if you look though i had a touchdown with tyreek hill and i really should have i could have hit tyreek for a touchdown guys i did not see that when people run cover four you can run a touchdown with this play and i got the aggressive catch i made the bad read but nonetheless he did get kind of screwed over at the end i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie Back in another play, fourth and eight. Let's go ahead and show what happens. We got a spy on the field. Let's go ahead. There's uh, two minutes, 30 seconds left. Again, another closed game. Bam, I run the opposite way. I come down and he jukes two people and there it is. Boom, another one and 
I wouldn't be surprised if it would have broke that one there. That one, guys, I guess you could kind of say, you can kind of say that that was my fault, um, which makes sense. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was running in that direction. I should have followed there. You know, this is, you know, getting better at the game. I got two clouds. I should know if he's running a slant, the cloud will pick that up and I should be in charge of anything going to the other side because I had manned him up. So anyways, but I just think that was annoying. Had to show it, had to, had to show it. Let's show you what happens here for me. Oh my God, he's a monster. Yep. He got cheated a little bit. He got a little bit cheated, so I got a little bit of luck on my side. I hit him underneath. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who had a chance to tackle Ricky Williams, and he broke it all, of course. I was down 17-0. Look at the score. It's 17-17. Now, 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 now. Check what happens. Totally my fault. But I thought I, I thought I had the most incredible, the most incredible comeback of the year. Okay, I knew what he was doing. He was running a man blitz, and honestly, my 99 speed Tyree Kill could not get separation on Dion, and so I had to literally run a bunch of creative routes. I had to run a bunch of creative routes just to get a little separation. But I had, a, I had him boxed up. And this is the first time all game, man. All game. Let me pause. This is the first time all game where he quick hiked me. Which was pretty good of him. He quick hiked me. I got caught up in my adjustments. I, he was running the same play over and over. I felt good on it. And here we go. I was on pass rush aggressive. I got caught on page. Boom, I had to cover and follow the deep crosser to the left because I knew that was an issue. Usually, guys, just so you know, usually I had Moss, Johnson, and Rice all cross manned. And I forgot to put a man on Johnson. Really unfortunate because I really felt like I had a chance here. Again, here we go. I had to follow that. He playmakers. And he's wide open for a touchdown. And that's how I lost my first game in weekend league against someone I had no business losing to. But he was running a man blitz with 99 speed Dion. He had Kyle Fuller. His whole team was stacked. It was stacked. It was against a lot. And I came back only to lose like this. You get a big touchdown or you screw it up. Check this out. And boom. Oh my gosh. 23-24. 23-24. A minute and 31 seconds. I got ball. I can go down and drive it. And of course, against Black Frank Ducks. He fumbles the ball. I mean, what can you do? I... Almost cry. So here we go. Let's show you a little bit of what's going on here. All right. I believe he's going to come out with a halfback pitch. A minute and 31 seconds. Oh, yeah. I know he's halfback pitching. So I'll go on Shazier thinking that he's going to pitch to the right. Go a little behind Calvin. Make it look a little bit scary. Here I go. I come down. I straight under to help prevent that. And boom. We shut that down. We call that timeout. Comes out. I have an idea of what he's gonna run here. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing open, nothing open. I'm gonna help here. Boom. You're gonna see what happens here. Third and 10. Can I get the stop? I get stock on my D tackle. Oh no. And he has a freaking touchdown. He has the freaking touchdown, but Lawrence Taylor comes in for the game saving sack. I get the ball back. Here we go. First and 10. What do we do? What do we do here? He comes out. He's sending the whole house. He's sending the freaking house. He's sending the whole house. I freaking hit Amari Cooper. That's Randy Moss. And I go down, hit him with a little spin, even though he can't spin, and we get the freaking touchdown. That's why you don't give up, boys. That's why you don't quit. That's why you don't quit. 
Here we go. I'm on pass rush aggressive. He has no idea. He doesn't hike. He doesn't quick hike it. I go on shades here. Perfect. Everyone is covered up. I got a basic little setup. I'm covering this way, covering that way. Nothing. We got Jabal sheared. He is coming down. I'm not even going to call a time now. Here we go. I got a little bit nervous in case he was going to streak Moss. I put him there. We covered him there. We're good to go. I feel good. We covered there. And he oh, almost gets that, but we're able to get the stop. And what is he going to do? Third and 16. I send the heat, man. I send the freaking house, and I go in with the user pick, baby. I go in with the user pick. That was the first time all game. Pretty much I sent the freaking heat. He quit. Okay, I'm gonna run the clock out. I'll be up two possessions. I'm gonna play really safe defense. I'm not gonna let him beat me by some craziness. Just let the clock run out. Let the clock run out. Here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. The infamous D sync. Look at my corner to the left. Put him in a deep quarter. Bring him all the way down, guys. You're not, you're not gonna get a deep crossing route on you. I promise you. And I should have followed the underneath route. That was really dumb of me. That, that was my fault. But three spins and a juke. And look at this. Guys, I'm not... I... Look at my last one. This game. I'm not... You guys can see I'm in the game. Your connection. I don't know why. I don't know why it's saying this. My, I'm wired in. I am wired in. And I lost connection to the server. You can check here. I didn't unplug anything. Because if you look, everything is everything is fine. Look, I can click on and go play my next game. But I got the disconnect. I got the freaking disconnect. And I don't know why. And I'm not going to say there was any cheating involved. But that was strange that I lost connection when I know I shouldn't have. And that's it, guys. I'm 9-2. and two. Might be done with Weekend League. Maybe not. Maybe I'll continue on to give you guys the update. But that has been my Weekend League in a nutshell. What do you guys think? Crazy plays? You think I got more luck in than they did? This is game broken. What would you guys like to see? Hope you enjoyed the series. Capiche?